Hey there. The holidays are here, so it's good to know Kroger can save you some time with free pickup on all your fresh favorites. Whether your traditions call for a hearty helping of juicy ham, ample apple pie, or Aunt Sue's legendary twice-stuffed stuffing, Kroger has got you covered. So order for free pickup at Kroger.com or the app and get more time to get your holiday on when you grab your groceries curbside. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Free pickup on orders of $35 or more. Restrictions may apply. Hey, it's White Boy Chris. If the Pat Downs ever made you laugh, then join our Patreon and support us. Get bonus content, a t-shirt, or an autographed copy of Rabbit, Miss Pat's autobiography. Visit misspatcomedy.com for the link to the Patreon, and while you're there, join our Facebook group. Welcome to another motherfucking episode <laughs> so bad. of the Pat Down. These niggas up here talking about I can't cook. I can cook. Mm-hmm. Two items. <laughs> <laughs> We have Waldorf and Statler up there for the whole podcast. Oh, uh, what else we talking about? Come on, we ain't sliding over here. Y'all got me hiding this motherfucker. We're, we're taking questions from the audience. Oh, we're taking questions from, oh, this is Life good advice. shit. And I got my family back there and they helped out. And don't take no, none of this shit serious because we ain't counselors. <laughs> I don't think. Counselors. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do, do this with your mouth. Counselors. Counselors. <laughs> Yeah. We'll be back after the music. Fuck y'all. Back to hell. You know what? I teach the first, the one year old how to read. I can do this with you too. <laughs> you better get up, get out, and tune into this podcast. This Pat spit the truth, spit the real fact. Nothing but the ugly, classy at the same time. Pat got the flavor. These are not the same lines. That's the politics. She been on the real grind. It could be pretty but ugly at the same time. Just tune in, put your lock on the spin down. Ain't no need for the wait and turn her up now. What you talking about? Is it real though? And cut the game, you get no play like Nintendo. You wait the time, turn it up, nothing but the ugly. Straight off the top, everything she say, you know it's funny. Full plans, this is taste of the future. Listen on your iPhone or your desktop computer. Share it. Tweet it. Ain't no way to beat it. Nothing but the ugly turning up and gonna repeat it. So, Chris had this great ass idea. <clears throat> some hair or something stuck in my mother's throat. Okay. Need some water? Killing these water bottles. Um, Chris thought, um, no, what did, how did this start? How did this get started? Well, I just think, you know, people always. Ask Dion and I to ask you life advice questions. So we'd solicit some questions and then you'd give the listener that wrote in some advice. I also saw one where they asked uh, about how did we meet. Yeah, there's one about how we met. So we could do that one if you want. That's easy. Or do you want to take a life advice question? Let's do the life advice and then the next podcast we'll do the other one. Okay. Sounds all right. good. All Chris right. going to do the reading because all he do is read and play with himself. I was nosy. And I asked Mike, uh, what advice do you have for Miss Pat? And he said, all right, I've been talking to this chick for almost a year. Your first problem, you've been talking to chickens. We, da- we dating in high school, and I was her first ever. She's amazing and is about to become a nurse. The only problem is she has is that she doesn't want to be labeled, and she has commitment issues. We both- You don't want to be labeled as what? His girlfriend. So... so we both agreed we aren't talking to other people, but it still feels weird to talk this long and not be considered in a relationship. Do I just keep rolling with it? Um, and are you coming to Birmingham at any t- time soon? Uh, not anytime soon, Mike. Um, the question is, if did she give you that pussy? Uh, if she gave you that pussy, leave her, leave, leave her later alone. Let her stop not committing. When she's ready to commit, then you commit. Hey, as long as, she, long as you ain't waiting like Chris six years to get no pussy. <laughs> Did I do something to you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. You're my friend. Why are you so mean to me? Because you let her be. <laughs> Stand up Chris. for your goddamn self. <laughs> I'm imploring. <laughs> Dude, Mike just said he was the lady's first. What kind of advice was that? I think well, it's... I mean, who was the first? All right. The girl he's dating yeah. that... Now they're ba- so the, the way that I read it. No, no. They're, they're having sex. They're hanging oh, out. They're you- not hanging out with each other. She just doesn't want to be in a relationship. She doesn't oh. want to call it boyfriend. So I, I answered that wrong. So we're gonna rewind this. Okay. Read it again. Go from the top. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna do the question. I get it now. 
All right. So Mike asks, all right, I've been talking to this chick for almost a year. We date we dated in high school and I was her first ever. She's a Ooh. yeah, she's amazing and is about to become a nurse. The only problem is she ha- has a, a problem labeling it and has commitment issues. We both agreed we aren't talking to other people, but it still feels weird to talk this long and not be considered in a relationship. Do I just keep rolling with this? No, cuz she's out shopping on your ass. Mm-hmm. She's just keeping you cuz you the coupon. You the coupon nigga, okay? As soon as she motherfucking find that winner, she going to cash in that coupon, and off she going to fly on that motherfucking broom, Mike. So let me tell you something. If people give you the pussy, but they don't want to be labeled, it's because they're into something else. You ever heard of an undercover hoe, Mike? <laughs> Not saying that she's an undercover hoe, but I'm just saying you might need to start expecting gadging on her ass. I agree with you totally. Somebody I, might be taking this bitch out of them. I mean, not bitch, your girlfriend. Oh, you, I'm sorry, your friend. If if she was undercover, she's exposed now. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me she don't listen to the podcast. I don't know. No, I think if if she's not excited to be known as your girlfriend, not excited to be in a relationship. What you look like, Mike? Y'all are asking the wrong question. The, the question is, why does she have commitment issues? If you were her first... Clearly, she has feelings for you. Correct. Yeah. No. So something happened between people the time. Fuck people all the time just to be fucked. I kissed somebody for three hours behind a building in sixth grade. I ain't never seen that nigga again. He's the first person I ever kissed. Yeah, but I don't. I think this three hours. He's she clearly <laughs> great. Till we was dry as a motherfucking nutsack. Oh That's yeah. Not... Just two dry tongues. Yes. So I just, I don't know why she don't want, Mike, is you cute? Does she not find you attractive? Do you just have a big dick and she just nah, needs to bust a nut? they've been talking for a year. They definitely. Yes, but some people, I had a friend. and I, Listen to this, Mike. So I had a friend and she dated this man who got caught. And I, I don't, 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 I, I'm not lying. He, he was caught in the he was caught in a fire. And he was burnt up. He looked like Fred Cougar. But he had the biggest dick, she said, and the best dick. And she wouldn't go out with him, but she would go over there and let him knock her down all the time. <laughs> but she wouldn't go nowhere with him. That's she'll cool. fuck him in the park. She'll fuck him in the car. She'll fuck him at a house. But she did not want to be seen with him. But she said he had some of the best dick. <laughs> all because he wore a hat like you, Dion, and he had been burnt. She didn't want to be out with him. So that's why she didn't want to commit with him. She didn't find him attractive. Superficial but it, bitch. Yeah, but she said the sex was banging. So is it that you have good banging sex and... She don't want to be seen in public with you? Yeah. Because you look like Freddy Krueger. If, no. she, <laughs> if she doesn't want to label it, you've got your answer. It's never going any further. Just be satisfied with that or move on with your life. I disagree with both of you. I say figure out why she has commitment issues. and it's, if, you, if you can, help her work through them. If you can't, keep it moving. Did somebody break her heart? Mike, if you good to a woman, let me say, I am a fucking girl. I'm a motherfucking woman. (laughs) (laughs) Till you take that wig off and then Ikea shows up. (laughs) (laughs) Mr. Pat. (laughs) (laughs) That was a good one. (laughs) When you treat a woman good, we going to tell the world. Yeah. We gonna so you need to find out why the fuck she ain't telling people about you or why she don't want no motherfucking to commit. Cause when we got a good man with some good dick and back teeth, we gonna tell everybody something wrong. And you you should be prepared that you may be the problem. There may be something about you, Mike, that she's just not not you're doing something that she's like ninety nine percent there. It might be her, Mike. The bitch might the, the the girl might have some other shit going on. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, if I was you, I'd take a night out and be following that bitch in an Uber. But you ain't hear that from me. All right, and if you want to write in, it's patdownpodcast at gmail dot com, and we'll answer it in the future. All right, this is Steve from Albany. This is kind of tough. I feel bad. Steve, Steve from Albany, Albany, Albany Georgia, New York. Okay. So basically, I've been with the same woman for seven years. We have two mm-hmm. two children. We were set to be married next October, assuming the world doesn't end first. The past two to three years have honestly been my least favorite years with my lady. I've come to realize how useless and lazy she has gotten over the years, and now I've become jaded. She has made zero attempts to show me any affection or even come on to me the past two years. I have to initiate and do the work the rare times we, quote, do the dirty, I've made several attempts to communicate how her not showing any interest in me has made me so unhappy, but it always ends the same. 
She gets defensive, tells me I'm wrong, admits she hasn't been interested in sex, promises to fix it, and then never follows up on the promise. It's really frustrating to be stuck with someone who doesn't have any interest in you at all, and it's honestly made me so angry and thinking about seeking affection elsewhere. I don't understand how the first few years were awesome and she always showed me affection and then out of nowhere she changed and refuses to work on it, even though it bothers me. Honestly, maybe one day I'll just finally throw myself into traffic. Steve. First of all, Steve, don't throw yourself in traffic over no pussy. There's plenty of pussy out there. A lot of time when you have kids and you're in a relationship, you just, what y'all doing? A lot of time when you, uh, when you have kids and you're in a relationship, you just fucking tired. You just tired. Exhausted. Everybody, yeah, every, something when you get, y'all just going to say here. We want to come in and watch. Come on in. We're going to go back in. Hello, good Hello, how, how's it going? What's up, everybody? Everybody just coming to join the podcast. So a lot of time when you're in a relationship and you have sex with people all the time, you get tired of the same old dick. I think, like, you nail like, she's asking, tired. She's how got often kids. Do, how often do you change out your dildos? I'm sorry, that's the wrong person to ask. No, <laughs> but anyway. I'm like the right person. I have like a gift for person. Uh, no. We're no, t- let me ask the right question. Anybody. Gariana, how hard is it raising children? <laughs> <laughs> stressed, stressed, tired, depressed. It's a pandemic. She's so, tired, Mike. Or, yeah, uh, she's probably Steve, just leave tired, her alone. Steve. And, you know, you're being uh, a dick. With, with the everyday life, and you got to do shit. And, you know, when you're in a relationship, and it get, when you've been in a relationship over five years, nobody wants you on top of them. Nobody wants to be cleaning out their pussy every other night after you. It's once a month or every now and then or when the sun come up or it don't go down. It's those kind of shit. Why do I want this in my life? <laughs> it sounds awful. This is fucking terrible. Nobody wants to clean their pussy for you. <laughs> every other night. So, I mean, I don't think she cheating. You know, shit, I don't. I, I, you know, sex ain't the same after five years. Yeah. Don't y'all agree? Auntie, you was married for 30 years. Yeah, and it ain't the same after 10, eh? Without the steroids or kids. <laughs> <laughs> what no, the big, fuck is she talking about? Big believer in testosterone <laughs> replacement therapy. <laughs> Who, you fucking nigga that they take steroids for their dicks? <laughs> <laughs> Eugenics? <laughs> Aren't you Frank Thomas? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Y'all Frank. crazy. I mean, just give us some room. I mean, try to talk to it. I, I think she love you, but nobody wants to be humped on. You probably got a high-ass sex drive, too. What's his so, guy's name? Steve. Steve. Steve, so, check her inbox. Shut the fuck up, Check her Dion. inbox, Steve. If she was all over you for five years and in the past two or three, she don't want to fuck with you at all, and she promises you she going to work on it, Check that bitch's inbox. I feel like uh, I, I don't agree with you. I think he's he's has some unmet needs that he's trying to get out of her, and he's being he's being annoyed. Don't throw yourself in traffic. If you need to go and, and you know, my daughter got an OnlyFan page where she reads the Bible to you. <laughs> Carry on, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sanctified. <laughs> Would you read Steve the Bible? <laughs> so, Steve, baby, hang in there. You're going to get some pussy. Hang in there. If not, I'm going to send you Ashley. Next one. All right. This is, this is from Nolan. Don't dick down my fans. Jesus Christ. Hear that, Dion? <clears throat> She's talking to Ashley. No. Mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> One of the funniest things ever said off the air. He's he's scrolling through his inbox and Miss Pat just screams, Dion, stop fucking the fans. <laughs> <laughs> I just look over sometimes. I'm like, oh my. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Nolan writes, okay. So All right, we listen. We're giving uh, life advice. Okay. So here's my predicament. That I'd like everyone to help me with. And feel free to use my name. I'm a freshman at George Washington University in Washington, Mm D.C., but this semester is virtual, so I'm stuck doing classes in my home in Columbia, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. I hate it here. I feel like getting to D.C. was going to be my escape from the South, and I'd be able to be in the city and live my gay dream. What? D.C. and Virginia? Yeah. 
My problem is that I feel as though every time I get my hopes up for anything in life, I end up being disappointed. There's been a pattern of every time things start to look like they're going well for me, they take a turn, and I end up being let down and sad. Do y'all have any tips on how to stay positive and keep up hope when it seems like everything is crashing down? This is more than just about college. P.S. The Pat Down has been one of my biggest sources of joy, especially a few months ago when I was going through a very dark time. Y'all made me laugh and put a lasting smile on my face, and I'm so grateful for that. You don't even know. Thanks, Noah. What's his name? Noah, first of all, come out in South Carolina. It's okay to be gay in all 55 states. Okay? Wait. <laughs> wait. 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 Are there five gay states we don't know about? <laughs> That's not gay. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's not gay. How gay is Guam? <laughs> That's how gay I want you to be, Noah. Fuck South Carolina. Be gay where you want to be gay. It's okay to suck dick all over America. Fuck them niggas down there, Noah. Get your dick eaten on until you can get back to D.C. Don't let these... Don't you let North Carolina put you on no diet. Go and live your fucking gay dream. Fuck North Carolina. Fuck your mama. Fuck your daddy. Fuck everybody who against you sucking dick on your dime and your time. I I don't know if it. I don't know if he's saying he's in the closet or if if he just like there's not as much opportunity as there might be in D.C. Like he's hoping that place will like give him the ability to be around more like-minded people. Yeah, but fuck them. Be like, make them like-minded. Do what the fuck you want. Sometimes you just got to be you in an environment that don't want you to be you. Noah, I'm black wherever the fuck I go. I don't never be trying to learn correct English so I can look like a pilgrim. I don't never be doing that shit. I be me wherever the fuck I want to be. <laughs> Buckle ass shoes. <laughs> With their big pointy hat. Four score. What the fuck y'all niggas talking about? <laughs> what? <laughs> I would, <laughs> yeah. Jo- Ashley, <laughs> Ashley, say add her. You know my daughter's gay. Add her on Instagram, Instagram? and she say find you. And she said also find you a gay page. Live your life. Fuck everybody else. I don't like living in Indiana. I live in an all white neighborhood, and I'm a nigga over here. You hear me? I am a nigga. I'm mean. <laughs> I, I would say, Nolan, the only thing that's ever held me back is myself. And Miss Pat's always been a huge inspiration. I'm the boring white advice. I just gave you the real shit. Stop, stop being. This shit gonna make you kill yourself. But go, on, Chris. Go. On. Go on, make you know kill yourself. Shit. I'm sorry. But... You know what? Dear Miss Pat, I am co host of the Pat Down podcast, and I feel trapped in Plainfield, Indiana. Damn, why are you so bad? <laughs> I got my wig rolling. I done gave Noah all you this did. good black advice. He was like, well, Noah, this is what we're going to do. We're going to pray, and I'm holding myself back, Noah. Noah, go and do you. I didn't do go you. through a very dark time. You caused it. Do do it. Do it. <laughs> oh, you came in my house, and it became a dark time? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Nolan, find, no. a, find a way like, <laughs> find a way to go to, to D.C. Find a way to financially do it. I'll have you uh, be you where you at till you can get back to D.C. Hey, don't be depressed till you get to D.C. It's some fun in North Carolina, too. Find people that appreciate you for who the fuck you are. If your mom and daddy got an issue, walk in that motherfucker in there with mid pat underwear on and say, bitch, I'm mean. Yeah, he did. (laughs) (laughs) Dion, what advice do you have for Nolan? Get used to being disappointed, nigga. This America. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you mean? <laughs> you know how many times I done got my hopes up, nigga, and then y'all try to kill a nigga? Like, this is America. Nobody want to hear that Black Lives Matter <laughs> shit. <laughs> God damn. I'm saying, you think, you think you going through a dark time, nigga? You uh, a 400 year line, motherfucker. Uh, Dion, <laughs> Dion, Dion's car was so regular, he never got pulled over by the police. He I got pulled you. over all the fucking time. Yeah, but when they realize you when had shit your gets, feet on the ground, when shit they gets hard, go. when shit gets hard, Nolan, just remember the good times that yeah. you have. And the positive you. things that are going right be for you, you, focus on that shit. Don't let negative shit like this nigga over here. Yeah. <laughs> Not pointing my direction. <laughs> <laughs> Noah be you, baby. So uh, you can get back to DC. Saying a nigga name right. Yeah, and I don't give a fuck. You know who I'm talking to? I'm talking to you. Come in, Pat. Loved you, baby. Be you, baby. They're right. Do you fuck everybody else? 
And if you don't like it, tell them to suck your dick out your neck. <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> suck your dick out your neck. Suck my dick out my n- Wait, what? Oh, my God. Ooh, sound like you would choke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next next one. What what what's the next one? All right, this is from XOXO. XOXL. That's their name. Dear Miss Pat, I am a white girl from the United Kingdom, and I listen to your show every Tuesday. Where's the United Kingdom? England. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are so funny and brilliant, and honestly, I struggle with mental health issues, mainly depression, but. I'm still out here working and keeping my shit together, but your podcast is one hour a week. I know I can genuinely have a laugh and take my mind off the shit that brings me down. And I want to thank you for your always uploading and being real on your show. Also, I am like obsessed with Chris. LOL. He's so funny. And I love when you and Dion give him shit. It cracks me up. Dion is cool too, but Chris is the one, girl. Chris is the one. L O L O. Uh, why, yeah, why don't you write this? I want to know. There ain't no damn XOXO across the pond. <laughs> Anyways, I know I wasn't asking for advice, and I don't mind if you want to read this on your episode. I don't mind. But that's not, if not, that's cool too. <laughs> Give me this shit. Uh, well, Chris, baby, I want you to I want you to beat whatever you're going through because you're gonna be all right. But you, do not think about Chris. That'll make you go back into pressure. I just want you to know that Chris piss on hey, his nuts. Gary, <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's just gonna make you depressed right there. I want make you, bad choices. I want you to know. <laughs> I want you to know that Chris constantly piss on his nuts and that ain't the dick you want. Okay? Keep your head up all the way from the United Kingdom. We love you. And and, and Chris ain't the one. You might want to fuck with remote control Dick Dion. And, <laughs> all right, let's go on to the next one. <laughs> hey, guys. I'd love to hear any advice Miss Pat could give on how to talk to women. What's something that usually works for something us guys think that works but really doesn't? Thanks, Fenton. Ashley, yeah. <laughs> Ashley come you tell ask, us how to talk to women. The wrong person. Come and ask. I know. Miss Pat been married too long, but I'm going to get my gay daughter in here, and she's going to help you get all the bitches. Come on, Ashley. Uh, how, what do you say to bitches, Ashley? Ashley, Ashley? What do you say to women? Hey. Hey. This done turned into a fucking Thanksgiving family podcast. Well, the first thing I say is, mm, oh, sorry, it's let me eat your pussy. Well, I mean, and that's pretty much bitch. it. So I'm, I'm like, with I your don't have no, ass trap. you know I eat pussy. So I don't really have any special you words. You ask somebody eat Girls, goddamn yes, pussy? They like that. They like when you just come straight no, forward no, with whatever no, you get want. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> She just encouraged just sexual harassment. Just come forward and say that you want. Stop sugarcoating. Get your feet around the bush. That was the eat worst. Eat the pussy. Eat the pussy. That was the worst advice for men possible. <laughs> oh. What did you think was going to happen? What did you think was going to happen? You about to get... <laughs> Y'all let Gary out of gas shop. <laughs> you about to get a motherfucker... Uh, uh, with a, uh, what's that damn thing they put a strain in order? A strain in order? <laughs> That's what you had when you drink protein Girl, I got cake. a colander. Uh, I put a strain in order on that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you say to women, but what I do know, don't say that shit at all. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let me eat your pussy. Let me eat your pussy. <laughs> what the fuck? Go on to the next one. No, no, no I want I want let's... you to I want you to try and fit and then get back to us. Fit. <laughs> we will accept collect calls. We talked to her brother in jail. <laughs> uh, Fenton. God, I don't mean that. Damn. I, I don't know about Dion, but my best advice is try to be friends with a person and stop trying to fuck them first. Take the exact opposite idea. Like, try to treat them like a person. Just be friends with them. Here's here's what you do, Finn. Here's what you do. If you want to fuck them, make it known. If you don't want to fuck them and you just want to be friends, well, just, just be friends. Let me eat your pussy. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you if you if that's all you want to do, make it known from the beginning. Don't be so around you go up book. to women and say, "Let me eat your pussy." Like, no, I don't say more. that exactly because no. that's always going to get you a no. But if if I let a woman know that I'm interested in her 
only physically, then she has a choice to make. She can talk to me. So how do you say, you? Oh, I just want to fuck you, but don't say, eat your puss? Well, I'm not going to divulge my fucking yeah, secrets he, on what, the what air. Dion's saying on is, what Dion's saying is you don't do it in the first conversation. Yeah, you don't. First the words they, out your mouth aren't, ooh, let, let me eat, eat the ass. pussy. No, it's not that. <laughs> but if that's all you want to do, then you slide in in your windows and, and shit like that. What the fuck is in your window? You got a nigga looking in your window? <laughs> I'm hanging out the closet. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What are your wonders? Yeah, it's saying something without actually saying something. Oh, that ain't nobody looking at my wonder. No, no one's. What did you? No what's one the word? Looked in your window for a long time. <laughs> Not even Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> you said you said Child, life advice. End your wonders. Yeah, just be direct. Yes, we are qualified. Nigga, are you qualified to give like you don't even leave the house? <laughs> <laughs> mad at me cuz I'm calling I out. Live the I'm so jealous. She, she, her posi- and her position has never been stronger after Miss Pat almost killed her father <laughs> with the macaroni I told, and cheese. I told you, I told him about I cook your daddy that food, and he texts you and say, "Please come home." They are scraping at my door. <laughs> <laughs> little dogs outside. I eating three days. He said, "I said, oh, that's so sad." <laughs> come home, come home. <laughs> I don't eat no apples. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, did you get them in the back? Let's take a quick break. Yeah, we need to take no, a break. No, this is it. Time. We got to take a Oh, we got to take a break. Okay. Woo. Y'all already know what time it is. It's time to deck them balls down the halls. You know what I'm talking about? One of my favorite products I've been saying all last Christmas and this Christmas. It's time to get your man some Manscaped, ladies. If you listen to this podcast stuck inside your house with your significant other, if you want to pay close attention, today's sponsor, Manscaped, can help you out. It's time to deck them balls, baby. Do you hear me? It's Christmas time, and we don't want hair on shit. Manscaped promotes clean hygiene when it comes to shaving them balls. You heard me say deck the balls with them holes. Or deck the holes with them balls, however you want them. It's time to quarantine Manscaped. And chill, baby. Manscaped is the only men brand dedicated to below the waist and grooming hygiene. You know what, ladies? You're probably spending more time than ever with your significant other. Or your side dude. I don't know which one of them need their ball shade, but I'm here to tell you about Manscaped, baby. Manscaped is forever changing the damn grooming game with the perfect package 3.0 kit. The perfect tools for your family jewels. The perfect package 3.0 kit come with the new and improved lawnmower. You heard me. Vroom, vroom. Go on and cut that grass down now. Let your man cut that grass and guess what? A waterproof, cordless body trimmer and a ton of other liquid formulation to round out your manscaping routine. Don't nobody want no hairy balls in their face. Don't nobody want no hairy balls in their jaws. Third generation trimmer. Feature a cutting edge ceramic blade to prevent manscaping accident. So no more cutting them nuts, men. And of course, let's not forget about the crop preserver. Lord have mercy, the crop preserver, and I don't mean plant no seeds either. An anti-chafing ball deodorizer and moisturizer. Yes, baby, it's going to keep them things dry and Keep them from sticking to your inner thighs. For a limited time, subscribers get not one, but two free gifts. The Shed Traveling Bag for $39 value and the patent high-performance anti-chafing boxer breeze, baby. So while those balls are clean, they can hang on some silky underwear. This is the perfect package for your perfect package, if you know what I mean. And guess what? My listeners get 20% off. Plus free shipping with the code Pat Down Twenty at Manscape.com. Yo ass heard me right. Go on over to Manscape M A N S C A P E D dot com. Put in the code Pat Down Twenty and get yourself twenty percent off. And you can thank me later. Cause let me tell you something. Nobody don't want no dirty balls in their jaws. Merry Christmas. You know I'm only here to tell you about the best products that's out there. 
So I have to tell you about this electric toothbrush called Quilp. You probably heard of Quilp. A lot of you guys know Quilp. The electric toothbrush you hear about all the time, but it's their sleek reusable floss pick you'll want to use next. I'm telling you guys, I use this toothbrush every day. And you know how you use an electric toothbrush and it's chunky in your mouth and it damn near feel like you're brushing your teeth with a piece of tree limb? This thing is thinner than a regular toothbrush. And you don't have that big old battery chunky at the end. All of it feel like one smooth, durable piece. And then you can get this same amazing reward just for brushing every day. Quilt Smart Electric Toothbrush connect to the free Quilt app. So you can earn amazing rewards like free products and discounts as you track and coach better or health habit two minutes twice a day. That's all you got to do. Pair your floss with perfect electric toothbrush for adults and kids. Quip has simple guiding features you need like time sonic vibration with guided pulse will help you brush better. You can personalize your routine with over nine premium brush colors plus anti-cavity toothpaste for every taste in mint and watermelon. You know Quip, the electric toothbrush you hear about all the time, but it's their sleek reusable floss pick you'll want to use next. I'm telling you, the door behind it is easy to guide, restream with a click, and come with a compact mirror dispensable case for you on the go. Plus, a single refill part replaces 180 single-use plastic flosses. So it's better for your teeth and the damn environment. So let me guess, some of you guys out there is not a pick person, right? All right, Quip got something for your ass too. Quip also have refillable floss streams that expand to clean. Pair your floss with the perfect electric toothbrush for adults and kids. Quip has the simple guiding feature you need. I guarantee you guys, it will bring delight to your everyday brushing and you join over 5 million miles brushing with Quip starting at $25. You can't beat it. Starting at $25. This is one of the best two brushing two picks I have ever used. And if you go get Quip.com, put in slash Pat right now, you will get your first refill free. That's your first refill at Get Quilt. G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash P-A-T. Let me spell it again for you. G E T Q U I P, because y'all swear I'm country as hell. Dot com. G E T Q U I P dot com slash pat. That's better or help made simple. Go out and you can thank me later. We already know 2020 has been crazy as hell, right? So that's why week in and week out, I keep telling everybody about better help. That's better help. H E L P. Is there something interfering with your happiness? Because I don't want anything to be interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals. All of us should be able to achieve our goal. Guess what? BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapy. Hell, I tell you about this every week. I started using BetterHelp. And you know what? It's been better helping me all the way. Because y'all already know how Miss Pat want to go off on a mother uncle. Better help has helped me to choose better words beside I kick your ass on a daily basis. And now I say, you know what? I think we can talk about this. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis hotline. It's not a self-help. It's a professional counselor done securely online. Nobody got to be in our business, okay? There's a broad range of experts available, which may or may not be locally in many areas. This service is available for clients worldwide. So no matter where you at, you can use BetterHelp, baby. You can get timely and thoughtful response, plus you can schedule weekly videos or phone sessions. So you won't even have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room with people twirling their head and digging in their nose and their ears. And guess what? I tell y'all every week, it's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. Better Helps wants you to start living a happier life today along with me and the other million people out there that use Better Help. All you got to do is visit Better Help. B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash pat down. All you have to do is visit B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash pat down. That's better help. And join the million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced profession. In fact, so many people have been using better help, baby. They hiring. That's how big and good better help is. They hiring in all 50 states. 
With special offers for the Pat Down listeners, you get 10% off your first month. Hell, I signed up and I got 10%. Come on, y'all. We need to take control because 2020 done drug us like we ain't paid our rent all year. Support for this podcast comes from CDW and Trend Micro. At CDW, we get that patched together security can leave gaps in protection. I patch things together all the time, like this broken desk chair. Some duct tape, good as new. Orchestrated by CDW, Trend Micro Cloud One provides unified protection and better visibility across cloud services. It's all in one cloud security that can hold its own. Okay. Want to buy some gently used office furniture? No, thanks. IT orchestration by CDW. People who get it. Find out more at cdw.com slash trend micro. Jesus Christ. My family. What? Well, you- <laughs> well, <you're- laughs> this is like mystery science I- theater. I know. It really. Yeah. <laughs> I probably like a hot fucking mess. Yeah. Yeah, we took one. Yeah, we're back. Okay, we're back. We got more life advice? We do. One more. Y'all help us in the back back here. One one more. All right. right. This is from Anonymous. Anonymous? That's her name? Anonymous. That's right. (laughs) Anonymous. Hi, Miss Pat and the others. I am 25. I'm a 25 year old from England who is still a virgin and have not been in a relationship. I do get into. Stop. Come on, Gary, and answer this question. (laughs) 25. I do get into a few conversations with girls, but most of them do not look really good, to be honest with you. Shrug emoji. You are in England. People. (laughs) Can you not burn the bridge? Oh, I'm sorry. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Leave it in. (laughs) Their teeth. All right. People tend to say I'm aiming too high, but I don't think so. So my question to you is, should I wait for my Beyonce or just settle down with Precious? (laughs) (laughs) I couldn't even get it out. (laughs) This motherfucker. Well, baby, you can't put them two bitches in the same category. (laughs) You can't say Precious then Beyonce. Nigga, can you put some... Regina King in now. <laughs> Can you stop? I mean, not that she. Jeez. Oh. I can tell you. I can tell you this. You you can wait all day for your Beyonce, but until you had a precious, you ain't getting a Beyonce. Believe that. Nobody. Nobody starts at the fucking top, bro. Nobody. Nobody starts at the top. You just need to start asking girls out and going out with them. Dion's. So right. what do he mean? As I mean. Because, you know, people change over the years, so a lot of people have to grow into their beauty. Well, the thing is that everything is not about physicality, so the fact that he's trying to find his wife's face only on physical features is going to get out of his How does he look? How does he look? He, he's, he's, and they're right. He's immature because he has no experience, and it's because he's keeping himself well, he's safe. he's a virgin. He want to give his dick to the right one. And you can do that, but you don't, you don't have to. You can date without sleeping with people. I love when we Don't throw American problems on the English. <laughs> Giving American solutions to an English problem. Well, baby, I would say, I would say let precious suck your dick. You what I've always let precious suck your dick and hope for something better. I always say look for the worst and hope for the best. That don't make no goddamn sense. <laughs> <laughs> you just gonna let her say goddamn. Worst, <laughs> you, just, you just gonna let her say goddamn. <laughs> That old ass advice. It's <laughs> better <laughs> what you just said. It made no sense. <laughs> and she, she, three sheets to the wind making more sense. <laughs> Twenty five, virgin. Virgin. You need a slump buster, bro. Yeah, you gotta get you a swamp monster. Suck, yeah, you gotta go get you a virgin out of you. You gotta get the ugliest girl on campus. I guarantee you, she's a headmaster. <laughs> <laughs> not of, not of the class. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you gotta get you a headmaster, and she gonna suck your dick so good, and people gonna be like, "What he seeing, huh?" If only you knew. <laughs> if you know only, only you knew, you knew <laughs> how much I do. I do, I do love you. I do love you. <laughs> That's her singing on your dick, sir. 
<laughs> That's the headmaster singing on your dick. <laughs> so you got to go out and get an ugly bitch to suck your dick, to suck all the anger in the backed up 25 years, all that nut you been skeeting in your mama pillowcases. And then you realize you want somebody to look better after the after the headmaster have broken your heart. Because it's always an ugly motherfucker who break your heart the first time. Yeah. He he's, uh, he's idealizing the Don't one. Don't know if for idealizing me, but I would tell you this. Chris with his fast ass words. Idealizing that. I'm not going to help her. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> it means ideal. <laughs> you know what? After you get done here, you're gonna be a whole English teacher. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do ESL? Always, always wanted to teach fifth grade. ESL. Don't teach ESL in inner city. <laughs> teach what? English as a second language. <laughs> she always said English is a second language to me. It's my second language too. First one to mine. <laughs> <laughs> What'd she say? She said her first language is money. <laughs> Oh, that might be right. So, so since you're a virgin, I want you to go, like I said, get your headmaster. She got to be really ugly. Let her suck all the anger out of you, and then you can start to know how to talk to better-looking girls. But it's always got to be the ugliest bitch on campus that suck your dick. And you might fall in love. Or you might find yourself sneak, 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 sneaking to a 24-hour coffee shop with her where nobody can see you but... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> That's what was choking the shit out your words. <laughs> I was wondering why you were struggling so far. <laughs> Wouldn't it be crazy if one day she belched and all of a sudden just was like perfect English? Well, you know what I mean. Blah, blah. <laughs> and I was signed. <laughs> it starts talking like an ESPN reporter. <laughs> What the fuck are y'all back there doing? This is a private podcast. I'm answering questions. I'm, I'm talking to you. You just burped on a private podcast. That's disgusting. People pay for this? Why are they all struggling with words? Podcast. I got the heat cups. Don't you hate when you get old and get the heat cups and every time you heat cup, you pee on yourself? I don't pee on myself. That's, I didn't. I did Kegels. What happened? What's that? It it, it no. turned me on. She took them back because they wasn't on sale. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think a Kegel is? When you take your vagina and rock on it. Whoa. She rocking that thing like. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna rock All night. Rock with you. All night. What's the line? Sunlight, girl, rock. close your eyes. <laughs> Let that rhythm get into you. That's pretty good. <laughs> Don't try to fight it. There ain't nothing. Because I'm doing somebody else. <laughs> what are we doing? What is happening? I don't. This <laughs> private podcast has gone off the rails. <laughs> it's, it's the night before things. Please, Everybody's please, drunk. Keep sending in your letters so we can give you life advice, but don't take shit serious. We say, take it what you need. Yeah, this is <laughs> just legal this requirements. A, this is a disclaimer, so we don't want you to. You know, we're not, we're not, we're not psychologists and shit around here. No, we just two people. comedians and a podcaster means the least qualified humans alive to yeah, get. Yeah, we're not advice. psychologists. No. Yeah, <laughs> she took two psych classes on how to disappear. <laughs> <laughs> Don't nobody need no motherfucking psychiatrist. Uh, yeah, y'all do. <laughs> uh, let's not lie to ourselves. And we can ride the boogie all night. Rock with you all night. Yeah. So I got to go upstairs and cook my two items that they limit me for Thanksgiving. Ain't God good? Ain't God good? 
Yeah, you I'll place your good. items in the bag. Was, uh, <laughs> hey, was there like a team meeting? Did you guys strategize? Like, was there uh, that you got together and said we're limiting her on cooking? Her every year, well, every year, two she items. can cook two items from her childhood before she got knocked inside the head a couple of times. Oh, and them's ingrained to her memory. Them's is good. She collard greens and the, and the and dresses, dresses perfectly it. fine. She go out here trying to make a freaking boiled egg. It's all over. The don't catch on fire. <laughs> she, she like, Am I really that fucking bad? Yes. yes. Did you taste yes. that yes. card you made yesterday? Oh it was God. disgusting. Oh, that's good. Good. Fucking Jumbo from the other room. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, what you say? Come here, Jumbo. Come here, Jumbo. Come Come here, Jumbo. Here. <laughs> they hollering nah. all over the house. She can't cook no salmon. She can't cook no type. Come here, Jumbo. Tell her this. We was talking about it behind her back. Yeah, but she has to know. Salmon. <laughs> You got this is an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Jumbo. <laughs> Are you saying my food is bad? Period. Yeah. <laughs> Period. That's a fool. Stand up for yourself, Pat. You don't got to take this shit. Fuck y'all, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it's not our fault your food is inedible. <laughs> Fuck you, Dion. <laughs> that dog won't even want I don't got to eat this Stop shit. Stop cussing, motherfucker. <laughs> my food is edible. <laughs> No. My food is edible. Quite, quite the defense you've mounted there. <laughs> Listen, Until you start cooking it. <laughs> it's chewable, okay? <laughs> you white, Chris. Be quiet. I still outdo you. You, <laughs> you Velveeta. No, no egg putting in your motherfucking macaroni cheese ass okay, nigga. I don't, I don't put no egg in the macaroni cheese. I do. I know you do. I don't like that. It's gross. It's not fucking gross. It's a quiche at this point. And you don't know that. It's not that many eggs. Huh? Tisha, I love eggs. Oh, Jumbo! I can't cook. <laughs> <laughs> stop playing dumb. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? He said, stop playing dumb. <laughs> <laughs> well, honestly, you can't do a lot of things. Just take the L. <laughs> I can do a lot of things. You should be proud of your fucking mother. I'm proud now, of you. Now, when you step into that kitchen. <laughs> I think y'all make the smoke detector go off on me too. No, <laughs> how we do that? You think the smoke detector? Right this now? entire meal is rigged. <laughs> I, I really think y'all be doing they, that shit on purpose. They got a smart. They got a smartphone <laughs> smoke detector. When she cooks, it's like an episode of The Blacklist. They've got plans of everywhere moving around. That's fucked up. Yeah. No, what, and you, you might, you might. When I die, you're going to miss my cooking. No, I'm not. No, no. When you no. die, it's going to be because no. of your you cooking. Know, for real. For real. Everybody going to be happy at the repast because you didn't cook it. <laughs> who, who, who the fuck? No, I forgot you, fuck. Who the fuck cook at their own repast, man? <laughs> now, before I go, I'm going to set these greens on. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all so fucking stupid. <laughs> Lord, look. I do look pretty. And be pretty and light skin like Ashley. All the day. Oh, God. Ashley is useless. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm useless and I do your makeup. <laughs> she has a talent. I have a all she want, All she want to cook is spaghetti. I'm like, bitch, I'm sick of this poor ass meal. I love and you don't, and your meat loaf be bad. Ooh. No, my meatloaf be good. Oh, it's like hamburger. <laughs> oh my god, get, get caught up right in there. <laughs> Disgusting. It's like what? white bread. <laughs> 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 like bread. She said your meatloaf is like eating white bread. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. My meatloaf be good, nigga. No, and it be watered. What? That's weird. It be watered. That's so crazy. It doesn't stick together. It's meat crumbles. What's that called? No. <laughs> what they call that? Meat crumble. Meat crumble. <laughs> what that? It's like hamburger hell. Disgusting. Oh, my God. It's loose manwich. It is. It is a manwich. And a motherfucking manwich. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what it is. Actually, yeah, that's what it is. And it tastes right. too. You did something, white man. <laughs> that is literally the first time she's ever said so right, nice I'm eating this shit Cause I'm the best cook in this motherfucking house Not a hell 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 Not a h
<laughs> that's crack. That's good crack. No, that's a lie. And she probably burned that too. That's, we didn't go after crack. And she did you? Uh, <laughs> hold on, they've raised a good point. Did, ah, I gotta close the podcast. Did you? Fuck up. Did you ever burn the crack? <laughs> oh, um, I hate to say this. I hate to say this, Patricia, but you burnt my crack last time. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I was, I was wondering if you could get somebody Ooh, else. We got me hot. <laughs> oh, y'all, and we're ending this fucking podcast. <laughs> could you get carry on to cook this next match pack for me, please? <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! This is some spicy crap. It would hit the veins, marvelous. All right, we said. gotta close this shit. <laughs> all right, fuck all y'all to the thirty third power, and fuck you too, Jumbo. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to another episode of the Pat Down. Make sure you check out my website at misspatcomedy.com for all of my social media, my tour dates, my book. Make sure you spread the word about my podcast. Please rate and review. Please rate and review and share. Thank y'all so much, y'all. I've been Miss Pat.